Bop, 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 testing. What's up, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. God's doing big things in your life. Now, if you missed part one of step-by-step -step learning guitar, I'll put it right here. A little bloop, little thing pops out, part one. We're in part two. The first time we talked about hold, how to hold the guitar, how to hold the pick, how to tune the guitar, string names, the frets. Even went over a couple chords, the A5, where you take your middle finger and ring finger to play the two middle strings. Then you move them up to the fifth and fourth string for E minor. What I'm going to do with this lesson is talk about three chords that you are going to use from the second you learn guitar until you die. You can play thousands of songs with just these three chords, and you want to make sure you know that it's going to be the D, the C, and the G. I'm going to teach you the easy way, especially if you're a beginner, you want to learn these. That way you can get playing songs faster and get a little confidence. Maybe, maybe if you're single, even get you a girlfriend. I don't know. That's kind of a... Maybe out there. All right, guys, we'll take your ring finger. Remember, that's that's, fing that's finger four and your ring finger. That's, fing that's uh, three. What's up, buddy? Okay, and you're locking the two bottom strings. You'll hear me say this all the time if you watch my lessons, always about locking in the two bottom strings. That's what gives you the kind of the stabilization. No, no, but turn it off. Turn it off. What are you doing? Okay, so take your pinky finger, put in the bottom string of the third fret. Remember, each of these squares is called a fret. Put in the bottom Daddy. string. Hold on, bud. I'm doing a video. What are you doing? My arms are bike Okay, we want a second. Let's do bike races. Ring finger, the bottom string. So again, I mean, pinky finger, the bottom string. Ring finger on the second string. So the first thing you're going to do is no chords. Just going to keep those bottom two strings locked. And show the bottom four strings. You might do it up. Go one, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three. So again, this is going to be super key if you want your chords to sound clear. You got to move your hand around, like I said, take it in and out, up, and make sure you're just pressing these two strings, not the third string, just the bottom two strings, and strum the bottom four. Now your first chord is going to be a D chord, and the way out is a simple way to play this: take your first finger, put it on the third string of your second fret. Now, some people will say, Matt, I learned a D chord. That's not the way I learned it, whatever. Learn these three simple ways to get you playing songs faster. We can do the other ways down the road. But learn locking those two bottom strings. Keep those bottom two locked. First string, D chord, press the third string, strum the bottom four. So you're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You might add a strum after the four. One, two, three, four. Up, one, two, three. Now you're going to go to a little bit more difficult chord, but not too bad. Keep the bottom two locked. You're going to play a C chord. It's really called a C add nine. I'm going to call it a C chord. Bottom two locked. Press the fourth string of the second fret with your first finger and the fifth string with your middle finger. So it's going to look like that. Bottom two locked, fourth and fifth. And strum the bottom five. So playing all the strings except the top one. Still again that four count. What you're ultimately going to do is go back and forth between these three chords. Put that down the road. But at first, you want to be able to just play them once. Like I said, this is all the stuff I'm teaching my eight-year-old Blake. So first, keep the, always keep those bottom two locked. And I'm going to give you a little tip to make sure the chords are sounding clear at the end. Keep the bottom two locked. Third string is a G. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. Then go up to that C by moving your top two fingers to fourth and fifth. Show the bottom five. Remember, like I said in the, in the first video, if you have to tilt your guitar back, because what happens, you can't, you're going to have to, you, hold on a second, buddy. In a minute, thank you, buddy. That's a good hat in it. So you tilt it back. Yeah. yeah, let me try it on, buddy. Mojo said, that's a good bud. That's a good boy. But he said, Daddy, you need your hat with your logo on it. Thanks, bud. High five. Yeah. That's sweet, man. Yeah, that's what Daddy needed. I got my acoustic selection logo and my little guy coming through for me. Uh, so you're going to go four, one, two, three, four, up. C, fourth and fifth. One, two, three, four, up. Now, again, if you have to tilt the guitar back, because what you're going to find you're going to do as a beginner is you're looking. You can't like look at the camera like I am or something. You're not that skilled level yet. So you're going to tilt it back once you get your C chord. Then you're going to look to this hand. 
And what you'll find you'll have to do is your chords are going to sound something like this. And your uh, trust me, I've been there too. What you're going to have to do is adjust your hand in and out, in and out to make sure they're just pressing. A little trick you can even do is pick down each string and you adjust your fingers. If you're not getting a clear sound, you might have to scoot it closer to this fret bar. These are called frets. This bar is called a fret bar. Sometimes your, if your finger is in the second fret but way over here, it's not going to sound clear. Have it as close as you can to the fret bar to get a clearer sound. Let's get the bottom two locked, fifth and sixth. And then your last chord will be a G chord. So you're learning a, a D, then a C, then a G. The G's will be the exact same except move the top two fingers up. So instead of fourth and fifth, it's going to be up to the fifth and sixth. And strum all six. One, two, three, four, five. Now remember, on say, for, that, for example, on that G chord, on the down strum, you're doing all six strings. On the up strum, keep your pick light in your hand and just flip up the bottom two or three strings. I see beginners a lot of times think they go up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, but you're going down, 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 with just a flip on your up and then switch. So that's a great exercise. At first, maybe go back and forth between the G and C. Oh, Billy Ray Cyrus goes on. That's a song, Could Have Been Me. I love that song, Billy Ray Cyrus. But that's your three chords you're going to work on this video until part three tomorrow. Keep the bottom two strings locked. Fifth and sixth, all six is your G. Slide down the fourth and fifth. My kids don't know how to be quiet. I got three little boys, so this house is never quiet. Show on the bottom five and then the D, bottom four. And work on a four count back and forth between those chords. G to C to D to C. So go down the guitar and back up. Guys, I can promise you, promise you, your chords will not sound clear at first. That's totally fine. I was that way for a good while. But just keep on practicing. Your fingers are going to get calloused. That means getting hard at the end. And, when, and, and instead of having your hands kind of lay on the guitar, make sure you're bringing your hand out to really, instead of kind of laying down, instead of laying on the strings, make sure you're bringing your fingers out and pressing just the single string you're trying to press. And you want to get that clear sound you're looking for. All right, guys, for more of my lessons, my, my, Four chord song books, my strumming DVDs, my beginner guitar DVDs, all that kinds of fun stuff. Go to countrysongteacher.com, countrysongteacher.com, all one word, and you'll find all my gear there and, and all the kinds of DVDs and fun stuff. Like I said, digital courses, instant access, lifelong, all that kind of fun stuff. Four chord song books. So if you like prime country, new country, worship music, I got you covered. Go to countrysongteacher.com. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I'll do another lesson tomorrow. Keeping those beginners moving along that if you just got a guitar for Christmas, or you've been thinking about playing for a while and now you're ready to learn, I got you covered. So, in the meantime, stay uh, saucy. Okay. That's my producer. He had a sign that said, stay, say, stay saucy. Okay. I'll do it. Love you guys. Smash the like button. Let's go.